Yo, yo. What's up, my high value bros? My kings, what's good with you, man? Hey, so today's video is, you know, five qualities, five traits, you know, that women find very attractive. You know, aside from the looks, money, status, you know, having your shit together, etc. That's just enough to get your foot in the door. You mean, you know what I'm saying? That's just, you know, having a woman to be physically attracted to you. You know, that type of thing. You know, being, um, having looks, money, status, but that, that doesn't automatically make you a high value man. You see what I'm saying? Or a masculine man. That just gets your foot in the door. So there's it's a little bit more to it, you know, as we've discussed, but these are some attributes. These are some qualities that women are going to find very attractive. Beginning with number one is, um, you guys got to be upbeat, man. You know, you just got to have a, a, a fun, you know, attractive personality uh, to the extent where a woman just wants to be around you. You know what I'm saying? Because your energy, um, your energy has a lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Like if she feels, because women, women are very in tune with their, 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 their emotions, you know what I'm saying? And their feelings and, you know, they pretty much go off of vibes 100%, especially in the beginning. So if she gets a good vibe from you, then she's going to continue to see you. You know what I mean? So, uh, with that said, you know, you want to have a positive outlook on life. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you know, wake up, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that you're going to have a great day, uh, that this day and the next day and the next, and this week and the next month and this year, this decade, your whole life, your whole lifespan is just going to be great. It's going to turn out the way that you envision it to be. All your goals are going to be reachable and attainable. And it, you're going to manifest them. So when you have this uh, positive type mindset and positive attitude, it's going to imbue and it's going to emit from you. And she's going to uh, sense that and it's going to be somewhat intoxicating. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, have a, uh, like I say, often, you know, you want to have a smirk on your face or, you know, have a little smile on your face when you talk to people. You know, say hello. Hey, chat them up. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? How's your day going? Hey, what are you doing over there? You know, let's say if you're at the gym. You know, we could be like, hey, so what, what are you working on today? Oh, you're working legs? You know what? I, I got a few exercises that I can show you that, you know, if you don't mind. You see what I'm saying? Just being uh, fun and upbeat. You know, that type of thing. Or if you're in the produce aisle, you know, at the grocery store. Hey, so, uh, you know, uh, what herb do you think goes well, you know, with this recipe, etc.? You know, just chat them up. You know, being fun and upbeat, being approachable and not just... You know, so serious all the time and, you know, unapproachable. So you want to have a positive, upbeat, happy-go-lucky type mindset because at the end of the day, you know, women, they go through life with all the stresses that we have. You know what I'm saying? They walk around with a lot of stress. They got, you know, life throws them curveballs. They have lots of challenges too, excuse me, and they have like their own cortisol levels. You see what I'm saying? So you want to be that, fre that breath of fresh air that she looks forward to when she meets you. You know what I'm saying? When she meets you, or maybe you guys are already together, you know, maybe she's your wife, you're already cohabitating, what have you. You know, when she thinks about you, especially when you're not together, you know, away while she's at work or you're at work or whatnot, you want her to be thinking of you in a positive way because you're so upbeat and happy. You know what I mean? And, it, and, and happiness is basically a mindset. You have to decide to be happy. You can't wait for your circumstances to be happy. So. If you're not at the current status where you want to be in terms of looks, meaning, you know, in the gym and your style and your fashion and your money's not where you want it to be. Right. Well, you're working towards that with your job and your and, and your businesses and investments and things like that and your status. Right. So you want to you, you want to improve those networks, network. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by your network is the, pe the five people that you hang around. You know that the five people that you hang around are going to be. The, it's pretty much going to be, you know, uh, equivalent to the type of person you're going to be. So the five people you hang around are pretty much like a birds of a feather flock together. So you want to always be, you know, trying to enhance your networking uh, circles. That way you can en enhance your net worth. You want to always be self-improving. So that's just item number one, being happy, being upbeat, having a positive outlook on life and deciding to be happy because it's, a happy person is very attractive, especially today with all the shit that's going on in the world, right? You know, especially with these viruses and, you know, all these riots and stuff like that or whatever. But if you're still able to be happy and upbeat, you know, that's a very attractive quality that women uh, find 
you know, attractive, other than the obvious, okay? All right, next next on. Next item we're going to talk about, you know, number two is going to be your, uh, just being self-reliant, man. Uh, being a high-value man is a person who's self-reliant. You're not a person who's dependent upon anybody. You see what I'm saying? You're standing on your own square. You're standing on your own two feet. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're able to take care of yourself. Now, you know, if you're in high school, college, or whatever, you know, that's cool, but um, you're still able, you know, to get stuff done. Maybe you're the, the captain of the football team, you know, or whatever. Maybe you're excelling in sports. Maybe you're the, you, you're the captain of that team or, or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but my point is, you know, that whole self-reliance, like you don't need anybody to to maintain your standard of living pretty much you know what i'm saying like if you still live at home with your parents or whatnot okay obviously you know you haven't moved out of the nest yet but eventually you will but let's say you you go get a part-time job you're making your own bread you're making your own money or whatnot and you're able to buy a little something something you're not totally dependent on that allowance you know what i'm saying if you if you, if you guys are real young looking at this video but hey you know to my adults out there you know my high value men out there you getting it done on your own square like you know you got your job you got your money you got your status you have your investments you have you know those type of things going on so you know you don't need to um live with somebody you don't need a roommate you got your own apartment you have your own home or homes that type of thing you see what i'm saying so you're self-reliant in that regard and not just with that but you 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 know you're able to clean you're able to you're able to cook for yourself you're able to wash your own clothes you're able to you're totally self-reliant in other words you don't need a woman to do you know to be functional you don't need a woman to do anything for that matter right that's very attractive because you know a lot of women feel as though that men are babies you see what I'm saying? A lot of women feel as though that, you know, especially the, the beta males, the simps, you know what I'm saying? They feel as though those type of guys are like babies. You know, they got to, they, they, they have to wash for them and clean for them and cook for them. Of course, you want them to be doing those type of services for you, right? But you don't need them for it. That's the thing. You don't want to come off needy to a woman. Like you need her to function in your life. You need, you're you're self-reliant, you're self-sufficient. Like if she wasn't a part of your life, you still healthy, you still thriving. You need to uh, be able to convey, not, you don't have to say it verbally, I don't need you, but she can observe, she can see that if she were not a part of your life, right? That you're still self-reliant, you're still self-sufficient. You're not gonna crash, you're not gonna fall down, you know what I'm saying? And be in the un unemployment line somewhere or have to hire a maid or some shit. You see what I'm saying? You can get all this shit done with yourself. You can still feed yourself. You can still cook for yourself. These type of things. That's very attractive to a woman. And at the same time, when she sees these things, when she observes these things, she's going to be saying to herself subconsciously, like, wow. You know, that's going to give her more initiative. That's going to give her more incentive to do the things that she does for you because she's going to feel as though, well, hell, if I don't do this for him, he's going to replace me. Right? He don't need me. He can get another woman to come here and do it. Or... You see what I'm saying? He could do it for himself. So, you know, self-reliance, you know, and not being needy is a very attractive quality that you can have, you know, with women. You see what I'm saying? So, let's go on. Now, let's look at uh, item number three. We're going to talk about being decisive. You know, a lot of beta males, you know what I'm saying? A lot of simps or, or whatnot, they're conditioned to be uh, not decisive, but indecisive. You know what I mean? And not direct. You know what I'm saying? So you can demonstrate your decisiveness when you plan dates, when you make plans. You can say, hey, you know, we're going here for the weekend. You can say, hey, you know, I know a nice restaurant. We're going to go here and eat tonight. If she tries to change that, that, that location, no, no, I feel like eating here. We're going to go here tonight. We're going to eat here. That type of thing. And remember, you know, she's with you because your life is so great and so fun. She's She's coming along your fun bus, right? You see what I'm saying? So you're decisive in that, right? You make the plans. You planned out that date. You planned out that vacation. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it could be as simple as simple of what are you going to watch for that night? You see what I'm saying? On, 
on TV or anything like that, when they give you the remote, you, that's her uh, submitting to you and giving you that leadership role. So you're always in a leadership role. To lead means to go first. So being decisive is a very strong and attractive quality of a high value man, a masculine man. You see what I'm saying? Beta males and simps, they follow the woman. You see what I'm saying? She could ask you like, hey, babe, what do you feel like doing? And a passive, indecisive beta male would say, well, I don't know, it's whatever you want to do. But see, now you just gave her back the power that she was, you know what I'm saying, submitting to you for. So when you do that, now you're not being decisive. Now you're being, you know, passive. And that's a, that's a feminine trait. That's not attractive to women. You know what I mean? Wow, you hear these birds? <laughs> These birds up here tripping, man. They're up, they up, they up, they up in there fighting and whatnot. You know what I mean? And guys, you got to be assertive. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean like you got to yell at the woman, but when you say something to a woman, mean what you say and say what you mean. You know? Be assertive. Uh, you know, inst instead of asking a woman out, invite her out. Tell her that, you want her, that you're going to take her out. Hey, I want you to join me over here. Hey, what's up? I'm free tonight. What are you doing? Are you free right now? Okay, great. I'm, I'm going over here. Would you like to attend? You see what I'm saying? I want you to join me. You know, that's more like telling her instead of saying, hey, will you go over here with me? Right? Now you're like asking her. Don't ask. You know what I'm saying? Invite. Lead her. Tell her. I want you to go over here with me. I want you to join me. Are you free? This is what I want to do tonight. I want you to join me. Can you tag? Why don't you come along with me? You free? Okay, great. You see what I'm saying? You can do some stuff like that. So you want to be assertive. You want to be not in an asking mode, but more so in a telling mode. You want to um, instruct, so to speak. I want you to do this. I'd rather you do this. Why don't you join me? You see what I'm saying? I want to take you out. Are you free? I'm interested in you. Are you free? You know? Not even that. Don't even ask if she's free. Hey, I'm interested in you. I'm, this is, I'm free tonight. You see what I'm saying? This is where I'm going. I want you to join me. You see what I'm saying? That type of thing. So, I mean, don't get overboard with it, but you get what I mean. Uh, let's get out of the asking mode and get more into the telling mode. Another, another way you can be assertive is when you're out together and you're ordering, right? A lot of times when you're ordering food, Right, and the waitress comes to you, you'd be surprised why a lot of waitresses might be, um, you know, what somewhat interested in you or whatnot because of the way that you order. You see what I'm saying? And listen to that word, order. You know, in the military, an order is basically a directive. It's a it's a directive. It's a charge. It's a it's an instruction that must be carried out because that person who gave you the order outranks you, right? So when a waitress come and ask you for your order. You tell her what your order is. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys, you drive up to the drive-thru and you be like, hey, can I get a, um, yeah, let me have, let me get this. Let me get a, um, and you proceed it with let me or can I? No, 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 no. So you want to be more assertive in your communication. You want to be more decisive in your communication. Listen, so I'll have this. I'll have the steak with uh, eggs and toast or whatnot. I'll take that. I will have this for my order. And to drink, I will have this. And for her, she wants this. She wants that. You see what I'm saying? So you're more, you, 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 now you're communicating what you will have, what you will take. You're paying for it, so you're going to take it. You're going to have it. You're not asking them for it, and you're paying for it. Let me come on. So those little uh differences in the examples that i gave you you can clearly see how your communication is more decisive we're gonna go here i'm free tonight i want to go there i want you to join me you see what i'm saying are you available are you free i'm free tonight let's go to here i've decided you see what i'm saying so decisiveness guys is very very attractive all right Okay, moving on. Um, you know, item number four, you want, you just want to overall be successful, guys. You know, success is very attractive, right? You get a lot of, when you're a successful person, and success is relative. Success is uh, subjective, right? 
Success is basically being able to do what you want to do with your life when and where and how you want to do it. You see what I'm saying? Making a lot of money, yes, that's successful, right? But there's a lot of people making a lot of money, but they're not happy with the way that they're doing it. There's a lot of people make a lot of money, a lot of money on their job, six figures a year or what or, or whatnot, but they may not be happy with what they're doing. So are they really successful? So success is basically, you know, it's like turning whatever your passions are. Whatever your muse is, whatever your source of happiness is, like what, whatever you can do to get up and do every day, all day, and you lose track of time and you can just and get paid for that. To me, that's being successful as well. You see what I'm saying? So whatever your passion is, whatever your muse is, and you're able to monetize that and turn that into, you know, a lifestyle that's going to sustain you and not just sustain you and you're thriving and you're profiting and you know you become financially independent off of that of course that's successful you see what i'm saying so that ties into your mission that ties into your purpose that that ties into your drive and ambition right so overall just being successful obviously that's attractive show sure enough you know what i mean um so this is why it's always important to be on your path you know as a high value man and not you know what i'm saying being a simp about things, you know, taking a victim type attitude and waiting for, you know, people to just give you things. You see what I'm saying? Or you can complain about things. Stop complaining. You see what I'm saying? And get shit done. You know, stop explaining about your your failures and your complaining too. And stop stop explaining your failures. Stop complaining about this, that, and the other. Instead of complaining, get 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 busy get get productive get on your purpose get get shit done you see what i'm saying Th these are all masculine traits when you start to complain you know what i'm saying that's a feminine trait you know when you complain about things and uh you know you just don't want to do that you know what i'm saying so um and then you know with that it takes radical action you see what i'm saying there's levels to um to manifestation to turning your your visions and your goals and your your plans and having them to monetize into the monetary and physical equivalent right to have them to manifest into the monetary and physical equivalents right um first you get a thought you think about what you want then you visualize what you want these are all these are the levels you think about it then you visualize right visualizing is very important you close your eyes, you meditate on it. You're looking at that house you want, that car you want, the clothes you want, the type of women that you want, right? You see yourself with this. But that's not that's not all that it takes to manifest. You see what I'm saying? So after you think about it and you visualize, now you start to speak about it. I have that car, or I will have that car. I will, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to live in that house. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have them M's in my bank account. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be that that star i'm gonna be that that rapper i'm gonna be that movie star i'm gonna be that ceo mogul business executive i'm gonna be that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be financially independent i'm gonna be you since you start to speak that and you affirm that on a daily now you get magical because now that that sound vibration goes out into the universe and it comes back into a monetary and physical equivalent of whatever your vision plan or goal is you see what i'm saying and then the last piece on that right you think about it you visualize about it you speak about it and the way to get it done in terms of lining up to receive it is that you got to take that radical action bro you got to go out and just get shit done you got to you know you, you got to beat the pavement you got to put your boots on man you got to put your big point your big boy pants on you got to strap your boots up you know what i'm saying go out there and get it done you know what i'm saying you got to grind you got to make it happen taking radical action and so when you take radical action towards your goal, towards your path, it's gonna manifest. That's just way. That's that's just how this shit works. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, th those are the qualities that women find very attractive to high value men. You see what I'm saying? And then I would say the fifth one, the last one is uh, 
you know, you just want to be progressive. You always want to self-improve. You always want to self-actualize. You always want to take it to the next level. You always want to level up. You know, yeah, women are hypergamous. And you can't blame it. I keep telling you guys hypergamy is not a bad thing because, you know, it helps get, get shit done. It motivates us to be our best versions, right? And this is what being a high-value man is all about, is becoming your, be your best version. I always wanting to level up. You achieve one thing, okay, what's next? What's next on the list? You got a bucket list to check off. All right, I did that. What's next? You see what I'm saying? All right, you dropped that mixtape. In my case, I just wrote the book. All right, so what's next? You see what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to manifestation, you don't just want to share and speak about what you're doing with people that you don't know. And even with people that you don't know, you only want to share your visions, your path with people who really love you, people who really believe in you, people who are a compliment to your life. You see what I'm saying? That really want you to win. Because when you speak your goals and your plan and your plans and your path to people, they can like interfere with that, believe it or not, on a spiritual level. You see what I'm saying? So get on that radical action, get shit done, work on your goals on a daily basis, right? But do it in silence and then let the success make the, the noise. When I dropped my book, I didn't really tell anybody about it. You see what I'm saying? I didn't really tell anybody about it. Only, only you know what I'm saying, my girl at the time, she knew she knew what I was doing. But I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't post about it, you know what I'm saying, on my social media or anything like that. But then when I just dropped the book, when I dropped it, boom! You see what I'm saying? So my social media blew up. They're like, damn. Yeah, exactly. So whatever it is you got next, do it silently. But man, when, when you manifest it, let that success make the noise for you. You get it done faster. That's between you and the universe, the God, the creator, or whoever you serve. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that last quality, number five, is always being progressive, guys. Staying on your shit. Going up to the next level. Never being complacent. Never being satisfied. Always hungry. You see what I'm saying? Always hungry. Like, you always thirsty. You always thriving. Striving to be the best at something. You see what I'm saying? You look at MMA fighters. You look at boxers. You look at champions. You look at, you look at fighters. They want to be the champ. Right? When they become the champ, now it's not just about being a champ. You want to defend that belt. Right? Then they get that belt. They want to get the next belt. They ain't satisfied with that. Then they want to fight another weight class. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with, you know, you know, other athletes. They get a ring. They want another ring. And a third. And a fourth. And a fifth. And a sixth. And so on and so on. You see what I'm saying? You know? Shit. It's levels to this shit. You, if you're in politics. Oh, now you're a mayor. Oh, shit. Now you want to run for governor. Now you want to be the senator. Now you want to be the president. You see what I'm saying? Look at Trump. Um, and the list goes on, bro. You know what I mean? High value men, we never stop. We're always thriving. We're always striving. We're always aspiring. We're always inspiring. We're always becoming our best versions, man. So that's what it is, man. That's all I got. Those are the five things that women find very attractive as a high value man. You see what I'm saying? And basically, you know, it's just one was being positive, two was being self-reliant, three is being decisive, you know, four is overall you want to be successful, and five, you just want to be progressive, you know what I'm saying? And those are the qualities, man. I'm out. Catch me next video. Hey, man, grab the shirts. I'm going to give you a link down below. Um, follow me on Instagram. Add me on Instagram. Ace underscore Heru, A-C-E underscore H-E-R-U. Um, and I'll see you guys next time, man. I'm out. Love.